now behind me, TRT's Jazz Orchestra is rehearsing for its next big show as part of International Jazz Day. By performing free shows every month, Turkey's first and only big band hopes it can introduce the love of jazz to a new and wider audience. April is Jazz Appreciation Month, culminating and leading up to International Jazz Day. It should be much more appreciated, but still, I mean, there are many jazz festivals going on. There are many jazz musicians who are uh, making a living out of it, like me. So it's, it's all right, but uh, we hope that jazz like, reaches a wider audience soon. Most of the band members have been playing together for at least 10 years. They're practically family. Drummer Ferret Oudman says the government-funded band plays free shows so that anyone, especially young people, can experience live jazz for themselves, and hopefully this will pique their interest. What I see in Turkey in jazz clubs and venues are uh, many, many young people are really interested in, mu in this music, so that's really great, but first of all you need great schools. Uh, to educate jazz musicians and after that we need really great uh, venues and jazz clubs uh, to make it available to people. The TRT Jazz Orchestra was founded in 1982. Sirkan Ozilmaz joined the orchestra two decades ago. He not only plays piano but is also the band's chief conductor. I joined in 1999. At that time, most of the members were seniors and started to retire. We didn't have a complete orchestra for quite a while, so those years were not very fruitful. When the missing positions were filled in 2015, we started working full speed. There are still some instruments missing. When just one or two of these are missing, it's hard to play the scores because all of them are written for a specific number of instruments. We're trying to perform well, although some smaller parts are still missing. The band knows they have their work cut out for them. Wearing his Metallica t-shirt, guitarist Jem Tunjer says jazz is facing stiff competition from other musical genres. Jazz is uh, living. Uh, it's a strong uh, living feeling and uh, it has to change every time. But popular music is, you know, uh, it's all about uh, being popular and uh, it's very different about sound, uh, maybe uh, technique, musicianship, everything is uh, very different. He just hopes hitting the right notes will be music to their ears. Adil Halim, TRT World, Istanbul. Now to talk about how relevant jazz music is today and why it continues to be seen as the epitome of cool, I have Istanbul-based jazz drummer Ferit Odman with me in our studio. Hi Ferit, great to have you with us today. Hey, great to be here. Let me start with this. In the package we just watched, you say that jazz music should be much more appreciated. What do you mean by that? Um, I mean... This music, there's, there's good music and bad music, as the Duke Ellington says. And jazz is the good part of it. Uh, so it should be appreciated more. Uh, a lot of people should listen to it and to get it soul, you know. It's, 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 it's a very soulful music. And uh, actually, it's not very easy to understand. But once you get used to it, it's really a music that can feed your soul, let's say. Mm -hmm. So you feel like it is underappreciated at the moment? Yeah, I mean, if, if you look at the statistics of, of it, I mean, it's like uh, the pop music and rock music is much, much more appreciated all over the world. But uh, if there was no jazz, those other musics would never uh, become, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they, they wouldn't be here today. So uh, this is the creation of, it's, it's a very good part of the creation of this uh, whole music. And that's why jazz should be much more appreciated right now. And I wonder, 
what draws you to jazz music? What is the appeal of jazz to you personally? Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up listening to my father's uh, LPs, uh, <laughs> so it's, it was inevitable for me to become a jazz musician. I started playing drums when I was 11 and hearing those jazz uh, vinyls. Uh, so it was inevitable for me uh, to become a jazz musician, but uh, this music is a freedom of, uh, it, it, it gives you a freedom of uh, everything. I mean, you, you can freely improvise during a tune. Uh, you can talk to others on stage uh, and uh, want, it's, you, you can improvise. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. no other music can gives you that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I wonder why you chose drums as mm -hmm. your instrument, of yeah. all the instruments possible. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like banging on pans and pots, uh, basically, when I was a kid. So uh, drums picked me in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, I was 11 years old when I started playing drums and I was just like really hitting things all over the place. So seeing drummers on stage, the shiny cymbals and drum set, it was really great great thing to see and I just like became a drummer I don't know I have no idea how I became one actually I wonder Ferit do you remember the first jazz record you bought oh that's a hard one but one of Wynton Marsalis's uh, standard time records should be the, f the very first ones I think so Wynton Marsalis I think but then jazz music is officially the least uh, popular music in the US at the moment, with 1.4% right. of all records sold being jazz. What do you make out of that? Well, I mean, uh, if you look at classical music, it's even less than it, it's just 1%. But does it make Debussy, Mahler, or Stravinsky? Uh, irrelevant. Uh, irrelevant. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, as I said before, it, it, it takes some time to get used to listening to jazz. Uh, you need some kind of musical uh, knowledge to really appreciate it. But once you start listening to it, there is no way going back. But why do you think it is less popular these days? Do you think we elevated it to the ivory tower and now <laughs> it's just, you know, this classy thing not everyone has access to? Um, I think popular culture uh, has this easy things for them. You know, like a pop tune has three chords in it, it's really easy to grasp. So there's this repetition of m meaningless words, <laughs> like yo, 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 and stuff like that. <laughs> and, uh, but if you listen to Ella Fitzgerald, or let's say John Coltrane, the depth of it, uh, it's, I mean, you, you, gotta, you gotta get used to listening to that, and you have to give some time to appreciate it. But popular music is not like that. It's just a repetition of uh, basic chords uh, for you to listen and just move on to the next one. It's like, it's like a McDonald's burger, let's say. Mm -hmm. And um, I wonder what your inspiration is, because um, obviously there is a bit of a rise mm -hmm. in, uh, in the movies about jazz. Yeah. Do you watch any of them? What do you think about them? Like Whiplash, um, La La Land, <laughs> or like Miles Davis biopic, that recent yeah. point? I mean, it's funny you said Whiplash and La La Land. Those are, you know, two years ago in Oscars, there was a hashtag, Oscars are so white. So those two movies are all about that. It's... it's How so? Uh, Some trouble there. Like, if we were talking about a jazz movie, I would say More Better Blues by S Spike Lee or Round Midnight, let's say. Uh, because the idols in those movies should be black Americans. This. Music is black American music, first of all. We have to get the facts straight. Uh, it's invented by black Americans and a great gift to the world by black Americans. So it's, it's a black American music. Uh, so the movie that I see should really pay respect to black Americans and the inventors of this music. And I don't see that on Whiplash or La La Land. Mm -hmm. So they don't really capture the spirit of no, jazz music as not, such. not for me. It doesn't do that for me. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> and uh, before we wrap up, mm -hmm. I am curious about your favorite jazz musician of all times. Oh, it's, I mean, this one is a very hard one. I know it of is very course. hard, but I, I mean, want to find out. I love out. all of them, like John Coltrane, Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, Louis Armstrong. But uh, as a drummer, uh, my idol, from 
from his looks, from what he wears, uh, what he does, for, from his political views and everything, I would say Max Roach. Max Roach. The one and only great drummer of all times. Thank you so much, Peret Oldman, for joining us on Showcase today. Great to be here. Thank you.